Hello, people. This is Bear from a Wave, and uh, today is August the 9th, Friday. It's uh, about uh, th we're three hours away from um, New York session, New York Open, and uh, it's going to be the uh, week the report for uh, Bitcoin. So, uh, last time I covered Bitcoin, uh, which I will leave you the, the video as I also went over uh, a few potential uh, long term counts without going into too much details. Um, otherwise, with this video would take uh, probably up to an hour. But uh, yeah, I, I'll leave you that. So if you want to check out uh, all the different scenarios I see for the long term, you can do that. And um, today we're going to look mainly at uh, the short term tr uh, trend um, as well. I mean, mostly what's happening in, in the intraday and what we could expect within the next uh, days. Uh, for the sake of this, um, we're going to assume that we have a waveform in place here of cycle degree. Um, and um, it's now it's a matter of um, so considering this is a low in place and uh, we're not doing this, uh, which at, at the time being I think it's unlikely, uh, but yet po yeah, yet possible. Um, anyways, I explained that in the, the previous update on Bitcoin. Um, so uh, we can either assume we have a wave one here. Um, why does this come make sense? This makes sense because wave three is almost. 1.78 times the length of wave 1, as you can see here, as well as, um, the, uh, you know, we have an extension here. Wave 3 is a bit short. I'm um, oh, sorry, wave 5 is a bit short. Um, as a matter of fact, as you can see here, it will be a truncated fifth. Uh, but uh, it, at the end of the day, it's possible. What I. The question also would be if we have this here into. Or we are continuing lower now. That being said, I think there was also a case for uh, the fact that we are um, in this scenario. Let's see, not this one, but this one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C. Um, so I think I might. Uh, might keep this one, um, but we're going to investigate on this move up here today mainly. Uh, if we look at volume, let's see what's volume doing. So obviously, this was quite uh, the news, um, you know, that's this Monday. Just remember that uh, what I think is interesting is yesterday's move here. As you can see here, we moved higher, strong candle, as a matter of fact. Uh, well, I think it was about almost 10%, wasn't it? 11%. Oh, wow, and um, supported by volume. So, you know, the sell off, most of it was uh, bought back. Uh, it closed at 54,000. Uh, and then a couple of days of uncertainty, as you can see here. And then we broke through that uncertainty area. Let me zoom in even closer. We broke through that uncertainty area with increasing volume. What does that mean? Now, well, that suggests that um, this move was impulsive in uh, nature which doesn't mean we have a low in place because if you know it could still be an abc don't get me wrong uh what it means though is you know buyers are into this market at least they were yesterday um and they entered yesterday uh, the question is when are they going to exit so another thing about this as you can see is equality equality of c versus a has been rich which is uh, a very common target and it's something that we want to see, as well as we found support of 50,000. As you can see here, 50,000, something that we need to keep in mind of, as well as 60K. The problem with that um, here is that, as you can see, we always traded right around $65,000. We never found support. We never um, retested successfully 65,000 as support. I've seen this in the videos and mainly in the Discord. As long as we don't um, test successfully 65,000 as support, we cannot um, forecast that we will uh, continue higher. That's I, I need 65,000 to access support. The next target would be 80. Now, uh, that being said, uh, that being said, uh, let's focus on so. It is possible this is complete. Now let's dig into, let's go straight to the one hour chart. Um, so in the case we have a bottom here, 
which you could go on and count this move down. Uh, I will not do it. Uh, you you want I mean if you want to go ahead. So the best scenario would be um, this probably minute. All right, because yes, with a minor here. Uh, minor one, yes, minute could do. Um, so this could be some sort of leading diagonal into wave one. Uh, that's the only way I really can make sense out of it um, in order for being uh, a wave one, uh, which many times wave one are pretty annoying. Now this would be a sharp wave two. Uh, but in, in the end of the day, right, you can count three ways, right? Uh, you can count one, two, three, four, five, and do A, up in B, short C, which makes sense. Now, one thing uh, really happens usually um, during diagonals is that the wave two of the diagonal will end, uh, sorry, the wave two after the diagonal, which would be this one, would usually end near the wave two of the diagonal. That's a very common um thing for uh, uh, diagonals. So that makes sense. Um, and uh, here, as a matter of fact, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, could we be in something like this? And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I checked earlier, equality, I mean, one plus six, one, eight, no, equality stands at 63,000. So uh, many times what happens if you break the 61.8% of, you know, so you get a move up, you get a move down, and you get another move up. Now, I didn't say, no, I didn't say you get one, two, three. I said you get a move up, a move down, and a move up. If that move up, uh, usually if uh, if it breaks over 61.8%, then many times what it means that um, you may get to equality. Equality is usually um, where you would expect uh, some sort of a resistance. So oof, I don't want to say it's safe to assume. Um, and by the way, none of this, as usual, is financial advice. Uh, but uh, usually what happens is you could get at least to equality. And that's it looks like the case. We might get back to 64,000. Um, it would even make more sense if we breach a little towards 65, get away for and then up in five, so that would be ideal for the bear. Uh, for, for, sorry, for the bulls, but I don't know what is going to happen. So this is this is what I see. Uh, this appears to be a corrective. Uh, let's get, dig into the thirty minutes. Um, yeah, it's kind of struggles on this is five. Looks more like a A B C, uh, but we'll need to see. Uh, at last now we're sitting at sixty thousand. In 60,000, a whole number, but not a really strong number yet. That's, that's a whole number. We might see something. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I would uh, like to, to see happening. Um, if if it's not a wave uh, 1, 2, then uh, if it is some sort of an ABC, uh, then what could happen is that we may be in the alternate um, so let me call this. Let me call this um, off fifty k lows. Then we might be in here. So we get something, you know, corrective, and then further downside. Um, I guess we'll see, but. Um, yeah, usually wave Bs are pretty much time consuming. Uh, so, it, you know, it, it, it wouldn't really fit. It would fit more if it was like A, B, and C, which could also be. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah, I guess for now, um, the main thing, the main takeaway I would look for is, uh, again, I, I mean, this could go higher. Get that towards that 64 to 65k range. At that point, I would expect resistance, and I would be basically I wouldn't. Uh, at this point, I wouldn't personally look for longs uh, as long as we are below 65. 
which can some financial advice, but that's what I would personally do. Uh, will I trade any of this? No, uh, but that's uh, what I see happening. Um, that being said, if you enjoy the content, I would highly appreciate it if you subscribe as well. If you don't want to miss out any updates, uh, go check out the channel. There's a uh, stock market as well as other cryptos. And uh, if you enjoyed the content as well, please do like. Uh, thanks, and I will see you in the next one.